Both Moderna and Pfizer report their vaccines against the coronavirus appear to be safe and effective, but a lot of people have questions about potential side effects. That's right. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the data so far. The independent committee monitoring the two leading candidates has not reported any significant safety concerns. Neither of these two trials were ever paused, but the early data does suggest that short term mild side effects might be a little more common than the typical flu vaccine. So far, more than 37,000 people have taken either the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine. Both vaccines require two doses, and side effects appear to be more common after the second dose. On the Pfizer side, 3.8% of the recipients felt fatigue and 2% experienced headache. Moderna reported slightly more side effects and they were more common. 9% of people reported fatigue, slightly fewer had muscle pain, joint pain or headache. They occur within an hour or two and then they resolve within uh, 24 hours or 36 hours. Dr. Peter Chin Hong is an infectious disease specialist at UC San Francisco. Experts say the vaccines appear to have a higher rate of mild side effects than the typical flu vaccine, which is usually around one to 2%, but they say there's no reason to worry. Usually if it hurts, that's a, that's a positive sign. That's your immune system actually responding to the immunization so that it's gonna be able to uh, fight off the, the virus Future. Both leading COVID-19 vaccines rely on the same platform, messenger RNA, a technique that's never been used in a vaccine before. There's no evidence yet of any long-term side effects, but they can't be ruled out either, says Dr. Christian Ramers. If you remember, the FDA required at least a two-month median follow-up period before they could, any company could ask for approval. I think that's a pretty good window if we're going to see a bad side effect like Guillain-Barre, it really should show up within those two months after the second shot. Guillain-Barre syndrome can cause paralysis and some flu vaccines have been linked to increased rates of it. But the increased rate we're talking about is an extra one to two cases for every million doses. Dr. Ramers says the long term consequences of contracting COVID are much more concerning. This is not a virus that you want to get. I mean, there are unpredictable effects. There are healthy young people developing clots and strokes. There are people that are having long term effects that we just don't have any medicines to help. Um, it's just not something that you want. He points to a study out of Michigan that found two months after patients were hospitalized with COVID, a third of them had persistent symptoms and 11 percent still couldn't take care of themselves. The long term effects can really go on for a long time. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Good information there. Both the FDA and the CDC are taking extra steps to monitor people who get the vaccine in their early stages. The CDC plans to send people text messages asking about their symptoms for seven weeks after they get the vaccine, including one or more texts a day during the first week.